talking about how they're the new ESAM? Absolutely not. They're Bankai. <laughs> Absolutely not. Who you know rocked this bolt cut like Binky? Who? <laughs> ESAM? Who? Absolutely not. And speaking of ESAM, we're not even going to talk about ESAM because we have... <laughs> <laughs> speaking <laughs> of ESAM, we won't. <laughs> we have... Bankai playing ZSS and VV playing Lucario. Now, VV is not trying to play because you know what? If they would have went here out, they would have probably struggled. It's ZSS. Stay I up will in your face. I, yes, at the same time, though, normally, you know, one of Lucario's, whenever you play Lucario, your thought process is how am I going to survive? Because survival is basically, the, you know, it's paramount. And ZSS, although she at times can struggle to kill, she still has so many ways to end stocks very early. And Bankai, as a player, usually likes to go for them. Likes to try and find those flip kicks off stage, those up Bs, those big hits. So if Vivi is able to avoid those sort of finishers, then I could definitely see him taking it. But, I mean, if Bankai is able to take early stocks, I, it's going to be so much harder. Oh, absolutely. And the kind of thing that I've mentioned multiple times before is that I definitely, you know, we know... It's a, it's a ZSS thing, but it's also, you know, a Bankai thing that they've actually been working on their disadvantage, and this is, this is, this is it. <laughs> oh, fantastic pickup right there from Vivi, that Aura Sphere into up air, and at 102%, 109 is the sort of thing where that's a lot of Aura on Lucario. We see how big that Aura Sphere is getting, how much damage he can do in an instant, 22%, and that, that percentage is only growing as... Oh right, Bankai X finds the stock really good for him. I mean, for sure. Now, what's kind of going on here and that I really like is actually that, you know, Vivi's just moving around in neutral, which is something that I honestly feel like is a lot good in this matchup, is that, you know, ZSS just moves around the map like she's a, a freaking mosquito. Like, yeah. <laughs> people were talking about Pango being mosquito. No, ZSS is the true mosquito in this game because she just flip kicks. She, she does the normal kick. She does the grounded kick. She does the everything kick. And it's just so hard to avoid sometimes. And I think that, you know... Speaking of kicks, how many of that was there? <laughs> oh. Probably... But what, that <laughs> what good is it? What good is a kick when you eat the fist? That forward smash doing a lot of damage. That's the kick flip that we know can do just be absolutely lethal. But not landing means that oh, Vivi manages to get back to stage, back to neutral, and he's looking pretty good right now. And you want to know the thing too about that, um, you know, uh, extreme speed. It's actually that it's not based off of. Um, you oh, you know, mean the uh, the double team? Oh, is it? I, Extreme speed is the uppie. Oh. Useless information, but continue. <laughs> Double team, sorry. Um, is actually that it's based off of Lucario's aura, aka rage, aka death for Bankai, like we see here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh man. Speaking of rage, that side B is so, so devastating. Look at it. 53! Oh. This is similar to almost He's dead! dead. Oh. oh my god, Jesus Christ. I do like that. There was a little bit of a beefy up B there to try and relieve some of that ledge pressure. But right now, Bonkai, oh I mean, God. the threat, it exists oh at God. every part of the stage. You saw the way that Vivi was sh just like moving around with these aura spheres, and he's always threatening something like that back air, or just an aura nice. sphere itself to do even more damage. So. Yeah, at the end there, Bankai wasn't able to find those kills. I think he was trying to get a back air of his own. That is how he took that first stock, but Vivi just up too, up too quick on the trigger, throws out his own early on, and yeah, nothing he could do about that. I'm going to be honest, I definitely would love to see um, Bankai play a lot more grounded. You know, um, a lot of the situations were that they were just jumping a little bit too much, and it's a thing that we know ZS has to do, but a lot of the situation, it's just like, she has so many really amazing, you know, anti-airs that can just stuff Vivi out. On the other hand, you know, Vivi is moving around to the place, and though, although she has good anti-airs, none of them are really long-lasting, with the exception of forward air. And as we saw, forward air wasn't even plus on hit, and Bankai takes a huge amount of damage. So, although these moves are, you know, they're very fast and they're very good, they're not able to, like, just cover a huge amount of space while Vivi is moving around throwing aura spheres and all that. That is absolutely true. And we're going to see that um, wave bounce aura spear into uh, up smash and then to the back off stage. And then, oh, God, this is so scary. 
Yeah. Honestly, maybe some Zayers would be in order. It can be risky because launching that Aura Sphere, I believe, goes right through it. But yeah, we're seeing Bankai starting to do more of them, trying to shut down that movement. And oh, it actually sets up for it. Oh my god, kill. if they would have ran behind and got that upbeat, that could have been death. We are on Town and City. It could have been spelled. It, 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 disaster. I, I do trust Britain. Bankai a lot. I think he didn't go for it knowing it wasn't going to kill and just wanted mm -hmm. to go for the more guaranteed punish. Uh, but, you know, sometimes maybe risk is important because when you're down by that much, sometimes you just die off of a stray back air and now you're having to fight once more against the Lucario that already has all of this rage and damage potential right out of the gate. Oh, gonna get back on stage, but at what cost? It's looking a little scary. Got the grab. Ooh, Ooh, and that nice wave bounce into the up smash. Gonna take that so stock. Good. Only at 16%. Look at this. Yeah, that was that's this is actually kind of similar to game one though. He was able to respond very quickly from the early stock, but this time around it's the sort of thing where oh, okay. Uh yeah, this time around it's the sort of thing where you know, he did still lose that last game. He needs to be consistently taking stocks early, and Vivi's just a little bit too clever for him. I mean, for sure, and we've definitely seen the same type of situation in a previous set where we actually had Zamba doing almost the same exact thing, just, you know, doing rough things. But at this point, we're on Lucario, and we're just seeing Lucario's aura being taken, you know, advantage of at this point, because it's just like, what can Bankai do? Yeah, and I also like the fact of he's switching over to launching those Aura Spheres. Bankai's gotten a little bit too comfortable throwing out you know, those longer-lasting moves, like the Laser, like the Zare, and here we're just being answered just so cleanly by launching that big ball of fire. Oh, Ooh. God, that could have been so bad, and no! He oh went for the Zare for the recovery to grab the ledge, but just intercepted by the Aura Sphere. Now Bankai in a really bad spot, already taking 28 off of a single grab. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. I definitely love the way that Vivi is playing this. You know, I always love talking about how good Vivi is at lead trapping, but right here, we're just seeing some very nice neutral and just a lot of situations where Vivi knows what Bankai wants to do. And I think that's just, you know, something to know about Vivi altogether is that Vivi just always knows. You know, yeah. not all the time, but, you know, they definitely... He didn't know he was looking for the up smash right there. Triple oh, top. Oh, period. 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 You got to say it with me. Say it with me, chat. Period. <laughs> he was in the air when he got hit by that up smash. He tried to air dodge I mean, right past it. And look at what happens. <laughs> See, and you, you said they have no anti-airs. Look at that. Well, the thing is, like, in neutral specifically, yeah. it's very... <laughs> and so much of this game is the neutral because of how CSS, one of the best disadvantaged states in the game... Uh, yeah, like, look at that. Can't do any ledge trapping when that flip kick is involved. But Vivi doesn't even need the ledge trapping. He's just c so consistently commanding the neutral, able to intercept those movement options at every given instant. And, oh, man, this is the sort of thing Bankai can win it. Went down smash at the ledge, something like that could take it, but he has to be so uh, scared. This is this is spooky. It's getting a little spooky. Spooky dog <laughs> ghost thing from Egypt. It's spooky. Oh no. <gasps> Not gonna get that force palm. Gonna get that the air dodge. Mash. Oh, this is actually looking pretty good for Bonkai. This is that situation. Oh Extreme speeds right into his face. And oh, oh. wow. You know how is that was crazy. Yeah, we were talking about how, oh, the disadvantage is so good for CSS because of that flip kick. But there at the end, he doesn't use it just as a movement option. He tries to make it as an aggressive tool, but Vivi able to punish it just so cleanly. That up smash was really good, catching the landings. And I love the triple taunt. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, it's the only way. That's your path to victory, man. Is Listen, CSS had to do its twirl on him. Just do a twirl, do a spin, oh, do yeah. everything. Don't forget, she asks the, that that old important question, is that all? I mean, <laughs> is I, it? I wonder if he might have been able to act there and mm -hmm. didn't. I'm not sure of the exact frame advantage, because mm -hmm. I'm is a pretty slow option. Yeah. So, uh, it is. Yeah, let's go back to the replay. Mm -hmm. I want to see if maybe perhaps there was a jump that came out or something like that. I understand air dodging in that situation is also Ooh. scary in its own mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I think that might have been because since they went through with it, it it has a little he bit more like back. I feel mm -hmm. like he could have drifted a away away after it, but I think he wanted to maintain pressure. He wasn't expecting VB to just launch an attack right out mm -hmm. of the uh, 
the shield stun like that. So, good stuff to Vivi getting the 2 0 and going to be moving on into winner's semis now because mm -hmm. we are deep in bracket here. Now, there's definitely something I want to know.